Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is getting ready to embark on his maiden trip to the United States of America after assuming office in May this year. Modi will arrive in New York on the 26th of September and will uh, address the UN General Assembly on the 27th. This will also be his first global speech to an audience of nearly 200 world leaders and foreign ministers. He will also address the Indian American community the following day at Madison Square Garden, which is being billed as a major event to be telecast live. The Indian industry is extremely optimistic about Modi's upcoming U.S. visit and uh, are expecting a major boost in bilateral trade. India and America may also reach a bilateral understanding on climate change and clean energy. The U.S. is also expected to ask Modi to clear its stand on the WTO issue. All eyes are on uh, New York. Gaurav Savant lays bare the great expectations from this trip. Like his meeting with the heads of government and state of Japan and China, the message Prime Minister Narendra Modi carries to the US is invest in India. Critical technology that was so far denied to India, whether in defence or aerospace. The Prime Minister seeks technology, he seeks investment. The message he carries to the US Inc. is that the rules of the game have changed. There is ease of business in India, invest in India, manufacture in India. Manufacture, defence, aerospace, smart cities, clean energy. These are some of the focus areas. Apart from that, when the two heads of the oldest and the most powerful democracies meet, the message is work together to combat global terror and work towards a better world. With cameraman DK Sharma, Gaurav Savant in Delhi for headlines today. As Prime Minister Modi prepares to take off for the US, he leaves a, a decade of frosty relationship behind. Modi is already planning to unleash a massive charm offensive with American businessmen. Can Modi transform the euphoria into concrete long-term gains? From denying him a visa to now laying out the red carpet for him. The Modi-Washington relationship status has gone from being complicated to amicable. And as the Prime Minister gets set for his first major diplomatic visit to America, he would want the troubled past relationship to be left behind when he takes off this week. Just days before he lands in New York, Narendra Modi has already set the tone for his US visit. In an interview to CNN International, the Prime Minister said that he expects relations between New Delhi and Washington to improve and become closer. The signs are good because this is the first time an Indian Prime Minister would be met by a number of CEOs. So uh, hopefully it would be different this time because Americans are almost as keen as Indians are to, to step over the hedges and build the fences that add to the relationship rather than detract from it. The thaw in Modi-US relations comes after nearly a decade since US turned down Narendra Modi's visa request in 2005. The US boycott ended in February this year after a meeting with outgoing US Ambassador Nancy Powell. And the visa ban was lifted automatically after Modi became the Prime Minister. Now they are going to the biggest democracy of the world, the democracy of the world, the president of the world, a very confident person, and who has already told the world in the world, that the foreign policy of the foreign policy is the same. ज़्यादा जानकारी रखते हैं, अपनी जो नेशन का जो हमारे मुल्क का जो है इंटरेस्ट क्या है उसको आर्टिकुलेट कर सकते हैं। Since coming to power in May, Narendra Modi has been engaged in a flurry of diplomatic activity. The Prime Minister's visit to United States is being watched closely by the world. For its part, Washington is keen to see a strong India that emerges economically and militarily to offset a rising and unpredictable China. But this week, it's the body language, tone and tonality of a new beginning that will weigh more on the table than perhaps anything else. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.